With that being said, a lot of news to cover, just as always, a lot of destruction being done by the Democrat Party and the progressive left. And you might be saying, Brad, what's new? You talk about this all the time. Well, folks, we have new developments happening with the progressive left and the Democrat Party within our school systems, which leads me to the lead story of the day regarding a Planned Parenthood clinic wants to open in a Southern California high school, and it will only happen if the local board approves. Now, folks, we're talking about California here. One of the most leftist states in the union. You think this thing's going to pass? It's probably going to happen. And wait till we just go through the details of this story. You're going to fall over in your chair. The stuff that the left is willing to do. We thought like the whole gender identity stuff was bad indoctrination. This is taking it a whole step further by not telling parents what they're going to do to their children. Wait till we get through that. This is going to take place at Norwalk La Mirada Unified School District, so Southern California, and it would be allowing a Planned Parenthood Los Angeles to open and operate a clinic at John Glenn High School in Norwalk. This comes from Fox News. But what are the details of all of this? Abortions and gender affirming hormone therapy are not listed among services that would be provided at the clinic. You might be thinking, oh, thank God. Thank God they finally have awoken and realized that they shouldn't be doing abortions and gender affirming hormone therapy on school site. There's a catch, folks. There's a catch. However, however, the proposal indicates that clinic staff can make referrals to other Planned Parenthoods for services not offered at the school site. So kid walks in, I want abortion. Kid walks in, I want gender affirming hormone therapy. Oh, no problem. <laughs> no problem. The line's right over there. Get in line, buddy because we got it all set up for you. We can't offer you the service here, but hell, we got referrals up the Yi Yang for you. Where do you live? We got Planned Parenthoods all over the place in the state where they're like Starbucks on every corner. Why don't we go ahead and take care of you real quick? So the clinic staff can also write prescriptions and offer pharmaceuticals related to reproductive health, including contraceptives, and can perform insertions on non-surgical long-acting reversible contraceptives and IUDs. Again, this is reported by Fox News. In addition, in addition, the proposed agreement states that while the clinic will encourage students to involve their families in decision making, uh huh, we've heard this one before, right? How many times have we heard these school districts having drag queens perform for these students while these students take your hard earned money that you're giving them for lunch and food and tipping them while they're there or putting these clubs on campus? that nobody's ever heard of. They're not in the registry, but you're having these people groom them and walk them through their transitions, trying to invite their friends to be groomed as well, not knowing what the club is about. But you're going to tell me that they're going to try and, and encourage students to get their parents involved. Yeah, right. On reproductive health, minors can get services without parental consent. Yes, folks, you, <laughs> you heard me correctly here. On reproductive health, minors can get services without parental consent or notification. And this comes under California law. Isn't that wild? The stuff that this state is, is allowing minors to do without parental consent, it gets worse. The contract would last five years if approved and we require board approval every succeeding five years. The board should be ashamed, opponents are saying. Quote, families and taxpayers should be horrified that the Norwalk La Mirada USD is considering a partnership with Planned Parenthood. This comes from Nicole Nelly, president and founder of Parents Defending Education. The fact that the contract specifically notes that under California law, minors have the right to consent to reproductive health services without parental consent or notification is appalling in and of itself. As it lists of services that will be offered to children from STD treatment to IUDs to referrals to other health centers operated by provider for services not offered at the school. All this is willing and enabling students to go under the rug behind their parents' back to get services without, again, their parents ever knowing about this. This has been going on time and time again, and a lot of us on the right and conservatives are getting kind of sick of it. I mean, hell, the Democrat Party has gone so far left that literally they've started a coalition of parents to go against the Democrat Party, to go against this current White House administration, namely Joe Biden. Well, she also went on and added that other Planned Parenthood clinics do provide gender affirming hormone therapy. So there is a very real possibility students will be referred off campus to receive this treatment. So again, they're going, oh, well, we're not offering abortions and gender hormone therapy. Are you great? No, we would never do that. We're going to write your kid a nice referral without you ever knowing to an off site so they can get treatment and groomed over there. Again, this is with zero parental notification. She also argued there is no way for parents to ever obtain this information as the contract asserts that all medical records are to be maintained by Planned Parenthood. This is minors. 
Okay, these aren't even adults. This is getting so out of hand. The amount of stuff these schools are willing to do behind your back. And for those that are new to the ball, Bradshaw, one, obviously welcome. Two, I'm a high school math teacher myself. I've talked about this at length on the Bald Brad Show. We've obviously seen Matt Walsh talk about this from the Daily Wire. We've seen Blaze Media talk about this. A lot of outlets are talking about it. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've been instructed to not notify parents on certain situations because the kid hasn't notified the parents either. This comes from the school psychologist. This comes from the admin. I got a ton of stories on this stuff, which I've shared on the show, as well as been on uh, uh, Anthony Brian Logan's show a couple times talking about this as well. Quote, for over 100 years, federal courts have consistently found that parents and not schools maintain primary decision making authority over their children, particularly when it comes to medical care. The Norwalk La Mirada School Board should be ashamed that this contract is even up for consideration and be mindful of their significant legal exposure should be ratified. It is crazy that this is even taking place. And it's going to continue. It's going to get worse. If California is going to lead the brigade here and all this craziness, it's going to hop into it's going to hop into Portland, Oregon. It's going to hop into Washington. It's going to hop into New York, all these other leftist dominant states. And it's only going to get worse in terms of parents having control over their kids on what the school district is doing and what the kids are being allowed to do without the parents consent. Basically, you're losing all power, folks. Nuts. The cable network citing a Planned Parenthood statement also report that the organization has been partnering with local schools to create a safe space for students to receive reproductive health and education. Now, what's that education they're talking about, right? We all know really what it is. The Los Angeles chapter in 2019 said it was opening 50 new clinics in area high schools to provide health care services, education, parent resources, and support the students on campus, adding that the initial three-year contract reportedly cost Los Angeles County taxpayers $10 million. It's not going to stop them from grooming. It's not going to stop them from having drag queens on campus. It's not going to stop them from creating these clubs on campus. And the administration doesn't know when in fact they do. It's not on the registration. So if you were to audit this thing, there's no, there's no, there's nothing. There's nothing of it other than the kids being pulled into these. In some cases, we've had stories here where some child had her friend pull her in. She started questioning her own identity, went to her mother and her mother's like, why are you talking like this? The mother found out and ultimately ousted that club and the district. And the district said at the time, we knew nothing about it. After the investigation, turns out they all knew about it. So they're willing to lie regarding all these things. And now you got this stuff happening out in the public in the state of California, my lovely home state. And uh, this is all taking place now. Unbelievable. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.